hi what's up how is it going in today's video i'm gonna teach you on how to create you know a magic when you are designing a banner in color 2021 you know it's gonna be a, a what's it called a neon uh signed flats reflective light that we are going to be creating this you know tutorial so without further ado let's step into it so let's go over and just create an object on top of the image just like so then you go over and use your what's it called color dropper to sample this black right here then you pour it on the background good so we have to really make it black so it has to be darkest black so what we're gonna do let's just sample this dark portion good can you see that so right now what you're gonna do is to power clip the image into place then I just hold out key select the picture or you right click then you go to edit power clip it takes you right into the box then adjust when you are to right click finish edit back clip good so right now we're gonna do is to go ahead and type you know let's type celebration of love celebration of love so after that let's type their name Kiruka Kiruka and Harrison Harrison So let's change to white go ahead and use a uh, Trijan let's use a uh, Let's use Trijan It's okay Good. So we're gonna do it control K okay. then you go ahead and just uh, change the fonts to let's use a border font let's leave it as futurati change to futurati good it's okay boarding it all up so right now what you're gonna do is to go ahead to your shape tool let's use a tracking then you hit ctrl k to break it into pieces so let's just arrange it this way let's go ahead and change this to try to make it a bit smaller good so what we are going to do now is to make the whole of this thing bigger just like so so what we are going to do now is to go ahead and uh, convert it to a uh, curve control key and keep it automatically then you wet it all up so right now what you're going to do is to go ahead let's change it to blue first go ahead to your what's it called to this place click then locate contour to so let's try and blend drag that outward then you release your mouse then you go over to let's make it a bit bigger it's okay go ahead to objects locate break drop shadow contour apart automatically it breaks so right now we're gonna do let's change this to white white so what we are going to do now is to park this picture into place make a copy then let's land it then you go ahead look at object look at park clip place inside frame select the test automatically it's jump into uh, the test so right now what we are going to do next is to go ahead let's change it to a grayscale convert to bitmap then you choose grayscale right here so our next step right now is to go ahead let's brighten this go ahead to adjust then locate tone curve good so it's okay 
good so click once again then you slant it so let's back clip it to the to this black area so what you're gonna do is to right drag that on top of, of the object back clip automatically snap into that hold out key select the image put it in into the selected object the So right now what you are going to do is to go ahead and select the upper one let's right click on that to set the outline to white good so what we are going to do next is to hit f12 let's take in the outline let's make it to check on fill bind scale with object bind fill hit ok good so what you're gonna do next is to just make a copy of the layer, extract the content, then go ahead. Let's just make right click, select you know a uh, frame type, remove frame, then go ahead and change it to cyan with the outline as well. So center it within the uh, test, then hit control, hold control down, then you tap on pay down. So go over to F12, a dialog pops up, then you take in the outline. Good. So what we are going to do now is to go ahead and convert it to bitmap. In this case, we are going to use RGB, it's okay. Then you go over to this effects. Then you locate blur. Let's make it Gaussian blur. Now this is out of it. Control Z. Go by again. Locate blur. Gaussian blur. Good. That's to ash. It uses it a bit. It uses that a bit good so what we are going to do it's okay go ahead uh, go ahead go over to transparency to then you click right here choose the mode uh, screen so what you're gonna do next is to make a copy of the layer send it to back good can you see that so what we are going to do next is to go ahead let's just let's go ahead and just bitmap let's make a copy of the background so we want uh, the effect to be a bit you know lousy Convert to bitmap, make it RGB, or better still, let's make it say uh, magenta black. Then let's make a copy of the center to the previous one. Then you go over to effects, locate, adjust, then you locate tone curve. So what we're going to do now is to just pull this up a bit, then you pull this side down a little bit. Can you see that? Good. So what we are going to do is to blend some part off. Go over to transparency to blend these parts off. Good. So right now bring in the watercolor, change to white. So let's reduce that. Then you go ahead to your shape to increase the tracking. Good. Can you see that? 
so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far see you in the next video bye for now